I have finished my entire second side of my rope of my necklace. Now, I have sewn down through my necklace until I am 15 units from the center unit up. However, if you don't want to sew all the way down, you can tie back on like we did earlier when we started our rope again on this side. So you can do that somewhere in here if you'd rather do that. Let me show you where we're at now. If I can get my camera arranged a little better. Okay, so I've sewn down. I've counted 15 units from this center unit right here. Right on my rope, I start the first unit up. I'll count the holes here. One, two, three, four, five, until I'm 15 up. You want to be on the 15th unit in the top bead of the 15th unit. Right here. You can see where I'm coming out of this bead right here. Okay, now make sure when you do this that your um, rope is faced up, that each unit is facing straight up. You've got the, you, your rope isn't twisted like this, you've got it straight up to where the whole of the facing unit is up. So just make sure your rope isn't twisted because if you start your embellishments and your rope is twisted, you're going to have to take it all apart and start again. So let's start our embellishment. We're going to start with crystal. We're going to start with 4 millimeter crystal. We're coming out of the top of the 15th unit bead right here. We are coming out of this side of the top bead. We're going to pick up a 4 millimeter bicone crystal. The side that we're coming out of, we will go into the opposite side of the bead directly beneath it. So this is the bead that we're coming out of. This is the bead we're going to go into. And we're going to go into the opposite side that we're coming out of this bead. So we're coming out of this side. We're going to go into this side. And that is important or your beads will not all lay the same direction. Pull it down and tighten it. Make sure there's no slack. Let's get a little bit more centered here. And do it again. Pick up a 4 millimeter bicone crystal. We're coming out of this side of this bead here. We're going to go into this side of the opposite bead in the unit. And pull. Arrange your bead real nicely so it fits right in that hole. And pull tight. And then again. And we are going to do this simple embellishment all the way until we get to the very bottom unit before our pendant starts. So one more time. I'm coming out of this bead here. I'm going to pick up another bead, another four millimeter bicone. I'm coming out of this side. I am going to go into the opposite bead in the opposite side and pull. Arrange it down, pull it tight. And do that all the way until you get to this very last unit before your pendant starts, and we'll be back. Okay, so I have done all of my embellishments into my very last one here. This is the little last unit that connects with the um, pendant. So I am going to go ahead and put one more crystal. I'm coming out of this bead. I'm going to go into the bead right here that connects with the pendant right where it crisscrosses there. So I'm going to put that on and pull tight. And now we are going to work back up our um, unit here and this time we're going to use rondelles. But we want to place the rondelles in between the beads on the side here, right over this little thread bridge. See if I can get close so you can see without blurring here. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm coming out of this bead down here that connects with the unit for my last embellishment. I'm going to go up into this little side bead now. 
and pull. And now I am going to pick up a little rondelle and I am just going to slide from this bead to this bead, straight up. No crisscrossing, no opposite directions, nothing, just straight up. And place this right between the two beads and right over this thread bridge right here. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, so I'm coming out of this bead, I'm going to go into this bead. And pull tight. Make sure the crystals seat down in there nice, just like that. One more time. From one bead to the next, straight up. And pull it tight. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way until we get to the top here. And we'll be back. Okay, I have put all of my crystals, my little rondelles, until I'm to the very top here. Now, I want to um, put one more in. As you can see, I'm coming out right even with the bicone crystal here. I want to put one more in. This will raise the bicone just a little, or the uh, rondelle just a little above the bicone, but it'll also get us to where we're in position to work our way back down. So we are going to now move ourselves over by going through the crystal on, or the seed bead on the top here in this unit and then we are going to go back down into the seed bead on the side of the unit so now that we are we are now in position to work our way back down with our rondelle crystals on the inside here so we're just going to do exactly what we were doing and move from seed bead to seed bead, putting a rondelle in between on top of the thread bridge here. So we're going to do that until we get all the way to the bottom again, and we'll be back. Okay, so I've brought my rondelles all the way until I'm to the center little um, section right here where our pendant starts. Ah, oh, darn it, I cannot not blur today. Okay, so we're right here, and we're going to put one more little rondelle. We're going to go from, we're coming out of this bead here. We're going to go into this bead here, just like this. Now we're going to place our bicone crystal on our um, joint here, on our very middle unit here. And the way we're going to do that is we're coming out of this bead now here. Our thread is right here. We're going to pick up our bicone crystal and then we're going to go into the very opposite bead exactly at the same angle the other bead is at, right in the middle here. And we're going to go through that bead. And now we are coming out of this bead right here, the, the top unit bead right there. And we are going to do the exact same thing with our bicone crystals that we did up here. We are then going to pick up another bicone crystal. We're coming out of this bead this direction. We're going to go into the opposite bead the opposite direction. So drop your bicone crystal down and go into the opposite bead and pull. Tighten it, make sure everything seats down nice. Just like that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the next one. You're coming out of this bead, you're out of this side, we're going to go into this bead on this side. And pull seat it down and continue. We're going to go all the way around the pendant doing this and then we'll be back. 
if there's an issue on the corners. Let's go ahead and work to the corner. I don't remember there being an issue, but let me make sure. So now I'm to my corner. And I'm going to pick up a bicone crystal. And now, see, I'm coming out of this bead right here. So I have to go into this one because this one's the one directly across from it. So instead of going down into this one here, you're going to go over into the bead this way to create your corner. Always the bead directly across from the bead you're exiting and then in on the opposite side, the opposite direction. Now we are going to sew into the bead right beneath it, right here, so that we can start moving back down the same direction. So we're coming out of this bead. Now we are going to pick up a bicone crystal and we're going to go into this bead right here and pull. And that's how you will do the corners. Just remember to go into the bead directly across from the bead you're in. And then um, you can sew yourself down over to the next bead so that you can go straight across. And that's how you'll do the corners. So let's go ahead and do our entire pendant all the way around till we come to this hole here and we'll be back. Okay, so I've done all of them, but the very last one here. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then we're going to start working back up our necklace here for 15 units. So I'm coming out of my very last, for my very last section, I'm coming out of this bead right here, right underneath this last bicone crystal. I'm coming out of the inside of the bead on this side. I'm going to pick up my bicone crystal and I'm going to go into this very corner bead right here, the one that's right underneath the center bicone crystal. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction from the side that I'm, I'm coming out of on my previous bead and pull. I am now, this is a little difficult, but now I am in the spot where I can't go anywhere. So now I have to sew down into the 8 seed bead in this unit right here on the inside. We're going to sew right into that little bead right there. And then we're going to sew into the bead between these two bicone crystals right here, the 8 seed bead. We're just basically coming around the unit so that we can come back out and work our way back up. Now we're going to go into this seed bead in the unit right here and come out. Now with this little rondelle in the way, it gets a little bit tight right here, but we are going to come through the top unit seed bead right here. the one that leads into our rope that goes up our neck here, and pull. Now we're coming out of this side of our um, bead. We need to go into the opposite side of the opposite bead. So we're going to pick up a four millimeter crystal. We're going to go into this side of the uh, 8 seed bead and seat our crystal down in there. You have to arrange them and make sure that they seat down nice and pull your thread really tight so that they stay in there real nice. So they look mounted on top of there, not just kind of dangling there. Now, coming out of this side, we're going to do the same as we did before and go into the opposite side and work our way all the way up 15 units. Oh, see, I went in the same side and it didn't seat. You have to go in the opposite side. That'll show you why you have to go in the opposite side. 
opposite side that you're exiting from on the opposite bead. There you go. See, it lays in there nice. Let's make sure there's 15 over here. From this side of the rondelle in the middle of the pendant here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes. So we're going to work our way up. Make sure your rope isn't twisted again. Make sure that the the every unit is the same unit as you work your way up. You don't want the side of the rope or the inside of the rope. Make sure you have the top of the rope. Work your way up doing your crystals for 15 units and we'll be back. Okay, so I have worked my way all the way up 15 crystal or 15 units and put 15 crystals on. Now, we need to work our way back down with our rondelles this way so we can cross over and work our way back up so that we can do our last embellishment. And it's just the way that we want to move through our work. So the problem with that is to come down with our rondelle crystals here, we need to turn around. We are coming out right here, out of this bead towards the center. And we need to go back through this bead and back around this unit so we can come down between our um, 80 seed beads to add our rondelle. So what we're going to need to do to turn ourselves around is we're going to have to tie a little half hitch knot. There's a thread bridge right here between these beads. Make sure everything is tight before you do this. That there's no slack in your crystals or anything like that. And then, uh, nope. I really want to get close because these beads are so hard to see. Okay, so we're going to go right between the two beads here, catch the thread bridge, and we're just going to tie a little tiny half hitch knot, make a loop like this, and pull it tight, just like that. Now I can go back through my bead this direction again. Now I can work around this unit here. Come up this bead, and then into this bead, and then back down into the inside bead here. And now we can work our way back down adding crystals in between each unit here. So we're going to pick up a rondelle and we are going to go from bead to bead, 8 o seed bead to 8 o seed bead and pop our little rondelles down in between the two 8 o seed beads and over the top of the thread bridge in between the units here. And we're going to work our way all the way down until we get to the pendant. And we'll be back. Okay, so I have worked all the way down with my rondelles. I am now to my last unit that I need to place a rondelle in. Let's see if I can do this without blurring you guys. Okay, so my thread is coming out of this very last one, or the second to the last bead here. Now I'm going to pick up another rondelle. Now right here in the very center, let's see we've got to get really close. In the center right here there's a rondelle but there's also an 8 seed bead here and an 8 seed bead on the other side of the rondelle. I am going to slide my needle underneath the rondelle and through through the first 8 seed bead underneath the rondelle and then through the second seed bead in the unit that connects the rope on this side and pull. And now I am coming out right here on the opposite side. So now I'm coming out of this bead in the corner where we connect. We are going to pick up a rondelle and we are now going to slide between the little 8 seed beads over the thread bridge on our pendant. So we're going to pick up a rondelle and slide through. And we're going to work all the way around our pendant, 
putting our rondelles in just like this. There should be no issues whatsoever with this. I'm going to work to the corner just to make sure. Should you be able to just slide one in between each bead here. And then I'm right on the corner, so I'm just going to place the rondelle right on the corner, right and turn like this. So you're still just sliding from seed bead to seed bead, no issues whatsoever. So work your way all the way around the pendant, work your way in between here, and we'll be back. Okay, so I have gone all the way around my pendant with my rondelles. Now I am in the very last one where our little center crystal rondelle is and where we um, join with our rope side here. So I'm going to put a rondelle on my needle and just slide from I'm coming out of this last one. I am going to slide into this bead right here. The one right next to the um, crystal in the uh, rope here. This will place my rondelle right next to the center bead here. Now I am also in position to work my rondelles all the way up to the top where my bicone next to my bicone crystals and remember you go just a little above one slot above the bicone crystal go ahead and place your rondelles in between each 80 seed bead as we've been doing next to the bicone crystals on this side working your way all the way up once you've done that we will be back okay so i've brought my rondelle crystals all the way to the top here and ended just above the bicone crystal here. I'm coming out of the 80 seed bead right above the rondelle crystal right here. Now I need to get to where I can get down to the level of my bicone crystals again. So I am going to sew through this 80 seed bead here. And then I'm going to sew through this 80 seed bead going down. I am now going to sew through this 80 seed bead. So I've just sewn around this unit so that I am positioned to where I can put my outside bicone crystal embellishment on. So we're going to embellish this entire, whoops, darn it, sorry people. Um, we're going to embellish this entire outside of the necklace here now. And the way we're going to do that is exactly the same way we've been doing it. However, our little rondelles are in the way, so it's, it might take a little bit more maneuvering. But I'm coming out this side here. I'm going to pick up a crystal. I'm going to go into the opposite bead on the opposite side from where I'm exiting. I'm going to just avoid my rondelle crystal, and I'm going to pull my bicone crystal up. Just like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to pick up a bicone. I'm coming out of this side of the 8 I'm going to go into the opposite side of the 8 Just position them nicely and keep working your way all the okay, way down. Okay, so I have worked my crystals, my bicone crystals all the way down on the outside here. And there is a little bit of a change in the corner here. I'm going to have to do, this is the last crystal I placed here. I have one more unit before I get to where the joint is that attaches the um, pendant. So I'm going to pick up my bicone crystal. I'm coming out of this side of this um, 8 seed bead. I'm going to go into our very corner 8 seed bead. and pull. It's okay if you go on the other side of the crystal rondelle. Won't hurt anything. Place that bicone crystal right in the corner there. Now, come back around the thread bridge on the crystal rondelle here and go into the 80 seed bead right here. 
right between the rondelle and the um, the the little eight OC bead between the two rondelles here. That's the easiest way to explain it. Come through and then come into the next eight OC bead in line here. And then begin like you had been doing, pick up a four, uh, four millimeter crystal. We're coming out of this side of the 8 seed bead. We're going to go into the next 8 seed bead on the opposite side here. So in essence, all we've done and that will place it, see it won't look like there's a space. All we've done is skip one little space here. So we go through here, go around this little space, this one unit, and start again. When it lays down, it will not look like you've skipped a space. So then you will continue all the way around and we will do the same thing here when we come back up. And I will show you how to do that just so that you don't have to wing it. We'll be back okay, when so we I've get worked there. my way all the way around my pendant. And I'm to my two last units here. One, two. So I'm going to pick up a bicone crystal. I'm coming out at this side. I'm going to go down into this bead here. Just like this. And put it on just like I've been doing all my others. Now, this is where it changes a little bit. We have to get into this corner bead and start our next unit up here. We're going to skip this little unit right in here. So I'm going to turn my work so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to come up this. I'm coming out right here. This bead. I'm going to go up this bead right here. And then I'm going to go into this very corner unit right here. And then come out on the other side of my bike or my rondelle crystal here. And then I am going to put a four millimeter bicone crystal on. Just want to pull your thread around that rondelle so that it's not over the top of it. it kind of slips down in between and under it so that you don't have a piece of thread coming over the top of that crystal. And then you're coming out of this corner bead here on this side. So we're going to go into the very opposite one, which is this one here, on the opposite side, and place our crystal right there. And now you see when it lays down, it will not look like we skipped. It'll look just fine. And now we are ready to go ahead and work our way all the way up. We're coming out of this crystal, or out of this um, 8 OC bead on the side where the rondelles are. So we're going to go into the opposite side and the opposite bead and just go ahead and work our way up to the end of our original bicone crystals on the top here. So just work your way all the way up to here and we'll be back. All right, so I have finished bringing my bicone crystals all the way to the top of my 15th unit here. And now I am just going to sew through my units here and tie off. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm coming out of the 8 OC bead here and I just need to tie, or I need to sew around a couple of units and grab some half hitch knots and then I'm just going to tie off and um, cut my thread off and then we will tie back on our pendant and make our fringe. But right now, basically I just want to show you, just tie, just sew through your units. Make sure everything's tight before you make your half hitch knot. Once you sew through a couple of beads, grab a thread bridge in between the beads and just make a knot and then sew all the way around several units several times just to make sure that this is very secure so we've got our knot and I'm just going to go back into my bead and I'm just going to follow my thread bridge actually I don't want to go in the bead that way 
I'm going to go up into this bead. That made my thread funny. So just follow your original thread path and just go up several units and then you can um, tie off, grab a couple of half hitch knots here and there, tie your thread off and cut it off and we'll be back. Okay, so now we have finished most of the embellishment, but we need to add our fringe down here. Of course, this is kind of pretty just like this. If you wanted to work up a little higher on the necklace and just leave it like this, that would be pretty, or do the entire necklace this way with your embellishments, that would be really pretty too. But we're going to put a little fringe on this one. So we're going to turn our work over and we're going to tie back on so that we can fringe. Of course, we could have sewed back all the way through, but it gets a little thready that way and takes quite a bit more time. But if you want to, you can sew back down instead of tying off and um, tying back on. But we want to start our embellishments coming out of the, the crystals on the bottom of the uh, diamond. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a little, if a couple units up, I'm just going to go through this little side bead here. Let's get you a little closer. And I'm just going to pull my thread all the way down to the end here. You want a pretty good length of thread to start this with, just so that you don't have to extend your fire line. When you're doing fringe and going through 15 O's and such, it, it gets a little bit difficult to pass through an, an extension knot, so you don't want to have to do that. So have a good length of thread, probably about a wingspan. Now, I am going to hold on to my little piece of thread here, and I'm going to grab the thread bridge between the beads, and I'm going to tie a half hitch knot. Just like that. Now you can see my thread is still sliding around, so I want to sew through the unit that um, I'm tying on to. I'm just going to sew in a circle so that I don't have my um, thread sliding around. It secures it. So I'm just going to sew around this entire unit, all four beads. And then come back through the original one I started in. Oops, got two beads there. Don't want that. Through here, which is where I started. And I'm going to tie another little knot on the thread bridge. Create a little loop and go back through it. tight. Now I'm going to get rid of this piece of thread and now I'm going to sew down into the next unit. I've got two beads again. Darn it. And I'm just going to work my way down my units following my original thread path. Two beads again. If I wanted to do that, I wouldn't be doing that. Okay. Then I'm going to work my way to the side here. I'm going to come through this corner bead here. And then I am going to go into this crystal right here. and turn my work back over. We're coming out of this little bicone crystal right here. So now we're going to pick up six 15O seed beads. A rondelle crystal, a bicone crystal, and a 15O seed bead, like this. And drop them down. I 
and we're going to come back up through all the beads. We're going to avoid, we're going to go around the 15, oh, so don't pick it back up, but pick up all the rest of them. Make sure to pass through each and every bead. Don't let your needle slip past one. Come back up through all of the beads except the crystal. Just hold your finger on the top here, or your thumb, and just pull all your beads very gently so that you're not um, undermining your thread. You don't want to scrape your thread up. And then pull them tight up against the crystal like this. Then we are going to slide down, just bring your thread behind, and slide down into the next crystal, like this. Okay, so basically you just come all the way up through all of your beads here, and then you'll come back through the next crystal. Do not go back through the crystal you started to anchor your beads from. Then pick up six more 15 -0 seed beads, a rondel crystal, a bicone crystal, and a 15. Slide them down. Go around your 15 -0 seed bead and back through all of the beads on the thread here. Again, don't miss any of your 15 O's as you come back up through. And once you're through them like this, put your thumb over the top of the beads and your finger underneath and just kind of squeeze so that they stay in place and you can move your thread through easily without really demolishing your thread. Pull them tight. If you need to hold on to the bottom seed bead, the little 15 -0, and pull, that's fine. And just get them to where they're anchored up there pretty good. And then, if you want to turn your work over, it's a little easier. Turn it over, slide down into the next crystal like this. Pull your thread and don't yank it real tight but make sure that it doesn't have any slack. And then do the same thing. Go ahead and do all of these beads until you get to here. Once you come through this crystal we will start again. Okay so I have done all of my little fringes until I've come to the bottom crystal come through it like I would to start another fringe, but my fringe is going to change a little bit here right on the very peak of the diamond here. So now we're going to pick up three 15 -0 seed beads and a rondelle, and then six 15 -0 seed beads, two, three, four, five, six, and then a crystal rondelle, a bicone crystal, and a 15 -o. So I've got three 15 -os, a rondelle, six 15 -os, a rondelle, a bicone crystal, and a 15 -o. I'm going to drop this down. And now I'm going to come back around just like I have been doing the 15 -o seed bead. Go back up all of the beads until I reach the second rondelle crystal and come through, just like this. And now I'm going to hold on to my beads and pull my thread all the way through. I'm going to grab onto the 15 0 seed bead here. And I'm going to pull my thread so that I can bring my whole unit up a little bit so that it's tied up against the three 15 O's we added. Now, you'll want to pick up three more 15 O's. And then you are going to go up into the next crystal on the other side here, up through the bottom. 
Do I want to do that? Yep, yeah, up through the bottom. Now, we're going to have to do a little finagling to get ourselves working back down here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work over. We are then going to sew into the little 8O seed bead behind the crystal, right here. Pull gently. You don't want to pull your crystal all out of alignment. And then we're going to work around this unit. So we're going to go down into the next 80 seed bead, up, the one on the inside here. Let's see if I can get you a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just working around, I came into this bead, I'm just working around this unit just the way my original thread path goes. And I just want to climb up all the way, all of these 8 seed beads here. And just pull gently. Like I said, you don't want to pull these beads together. You just want to have a place for your thread to be on the top again. Now once you do that, you're going to come through the first crystal on the top again. Just like that. Once you're through the crystal on the top here, then you're going to start picking up your fringe again and making your fringe just like you did on the other side. So we will pick up six 15 ohm seed beads a rondelle crystal let's see, one, two, three, yeah a rondelle crystal, a bicone crystal and a 15 ohm seed bead. And we will do exactly the same thing that we did on the other side. Bringing our crystals down just like this and sewing back up down through the next crystal and do your fringe all the way until we get to this last crystal here. And you will come through this crystal and we'll be back. Okay, so I have finished all of my little fringes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I am now coming out of the very bottom crystal, right here, and it's going to change a little bit again. So now we're going to pick up three 15 -0 seed beads, a Rondel crystal, a Bicone crystal, and a 15 -0. And we're going to bring them down. We're going to come back up around the little 15 0 and back up through all of the beads we put on. And don't go back through the crystal, just hold on to your beads and pull your thread through very gently. And then pull on the 15 0 seed bead and anchor it up close to the little bicone that you're coming out of. And now you will pick up three 15 0 seed beads and instead of going into the crystal or crossing over we're going to go up through this little bicone crystal right here and pull just like that. Or it's not a bicone, it's the rondelle. We're going to go right up through the rondelle in our previous embellishments. Now we need to be able to work back down. So what we're going to do is instead of trying to go through this crystal and making our embellishment here, it won't work. We'll be going the wrong direction. We are going to slide up into the 8 seed bead and we're going to maneuver our um, needle through the rondelle and the 8 -0. Sorry about that little thread mess up there. Do this very gently because we don't want the crystal to scrape our thread real bad. And then we will go 
up the rest of the, crystal, the crystals and the 8O seed beads all the way up the side the same way. As many as you can take at once. And um, you may just have to do a couple at a time. That looks like I'm going to make it through quite a few. So I'm going to go up, pull my thread through, squeeze back through these beads again, see if I can get up through the last ones. I made it through the 8 0. Pull your thread through. I'm going to go up through the last rondelle right here. I'm going to turn my work over. <clears throat> this little 8 0 that's right beneath. This rondelle crystal, I'm going to go into it. And then, let's turn the work here. We are going to go back down into the first bicone crystal. And we want to go on top of our last fringe, our previous fringes. and pull. And now we are going to start making little shorter units on top of the longer units we already made. So we're going to pick up three bicone crystals or three <laughs> 15 o seed beads, a rondelle crystal, a bicone crystal, and a 15 o seed bead. So this is what we'll have here. Drop it down. I'm going to back off just a little bit here. <clears throat> now we will do the same thing. We will go back through. I'm going to have to turn my work. We will go back through the 15 0 or around the 15 -0, not through it. Back up through all the beads. Put our thumb on top and pull. Don't go through the crystal, the bicone crystal that you're coming out of. Just the beads that you added in your fringe. Hold on to your last bead and gently pull. Anchor it up on top and then come through the bicone crystal, the next one. Go on top of your fringe here. Pull through. This just takes a little bit of patience. Just do this slowly. The end result is worth it. The bicones are at a, a slope downwards, so it takes a little bit to get through them. Pick up three, again, of your 15 O's, a rondelle crystal, a bicone crystal, and a 15 O. Like this. Bring it down to your work again. And again, you will come up through and go around the 15 -0, come back up through, go through the next crystal, and make your shorter units all the way till we get to where we're coming out of the very bottom bead here, and we'll be back. So I have finished all of my shorter fringes. I am now coming out of the very bottom crystal, where we started our little short ones on the other side. Same thing, just on the opposite side, the very last crystal. So now we are going to pick up three of our 15 O seed beads, a rondelle, a bicone crystal, and a 15 O. We're 
We're going to drop them down. We're going to come up around the 15 0 back up through all of our little beads, just like this. We're going to hold on to our beads and pull. Now again, hold on to the 15, pull this up tight against the crystal, and pick up three 15-0 seed beads, just like this, and then we are going to, oh, that's blurry, we are going to come through the rondelle again, right in the middle, on the top, in the middle of our work here. Okay, so when you've got a bunch of fringe, that's usually what will happen a million times, is you're going to get your thread wrapped around all the fringes. So try to guide it around it and not let that happen, but it will. Okay, so now we're back where we started when we started this side, except for on this side now. And we're going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have to sew up through all these beads so that we can come down and do our short fringes on this side. So we are going to sew up through this 8 here, the rondelle, all the 8 and rondelles, as many as you can at once. I'm going to get quite a few at once here. So here we go. Let's back off just a little so you can see what I'm doing. And pull your thread gently through. Finish up, go all the way up and through the last rondelle. Now if you can't do them all at once, that's okay. Just do a couple at a time. And again, watch your thread because that'll happen so many times with fringe. Pull it through. And then we're going to start our shorter fringes again. So we're going to come down through the first bicone crystal right here. Pull our thread through. We are going to now pick up three 15-0 seed beads, a rondelle, a bicone crystal, and a 15-0. Drop them down to our work. Come around the little 15 0 and up through all the beads. Do not come up back through the crystal. Just pull your thread through. Anchor it by pulling on your little 15 0. Get it up tight against the crystal. So back down, this side's a little easier because the um, bicones aren't quite as slanted. Come through the next bicone, just like this. Let that guy go on top of the other one. Now you don't want to pull it so tight that they stand up because they will. See, if I pull that real tight, it'll stand up. I don't want it too tight but I want it tight enough to where there's no slack. And then I will begin my next fringe. Okay, so I have worked all my shorter fringes all the way down until I'm in the one, two, three, four, fifth little um, bicone crystal. I have come down through it, made my fringe, and now I have to go back through the very last bead, the very last bicone on this side. So we're just going to slide through, try to avoid the 15 O's and everything, just like this. Turn your work over. Now we are coming out of the very last bicone here. We are going to bring our little thread up and come through this 8 seed bead here. And we're just going to slide up through all of them on this side and pull.
And now, you don't want to pull so tight that it bunches your beads or makes them funny because that isn't exactly our thread path. It's just straight up our beads. So we want it to just hold our thread out of the way and bring us up to where we can tie off. We don't want it to interrupt anything that we've done previously. So just do it very gently. And, and then we will sew up into the next 8 seed bead here. We're just going to sew around this entire right angle weave unit right here. I'm just going to turn my work and I'm going to sew through the entire unit making a little circle around it so it kind of anchors my thread and all of my fringe and everything I just did. You don't want slack but you don't want to pull real tight at this point either. <clears throat> and now we will tie a little knot right here. Grab a thread bridge somewhere. And then just sew back into your units, following your thread path. Sew all the way up several units or around, tie knots, whatever you'd like to do, and then cut off your thread. And we'll be back. Okay, so I have tied off. And now I, I have gone through and I've just pulled my little short fringe on top of my bottom fringe, kind of arranged everything, pulled it to where it, it uh, looks nice. And um, it'll stay pretty well arranged for you. You can have them all messed up if you want them to also. But your first initial time, you need to kind of pull the short ones up in front because as we're weaving, they get kind of tangled up. So just pull your little fringes around how you want them. And this is what it looks like. And let's show you the entire necklace here. The little rope. Like that. And that's what it looks like. I know it looks a little difficult in spots, but it's really not too bad once it's in your own hands and you're not trying to um, sew for the view of a camera. It's a little bit easier and you should be able to accomplish it fairly well. Just like I said, if you're not familiar with the um, cubic right angle weave, you will need to practice that with the bling bangle tutorial and that will help you quite a bit.